What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today I think Sephiroth is already in Smash. <laughs> Nintendo of America just tweeted out something really interesting. It says, For a limited time, you'll be able to fight Sephiroth as a boss character in the Sephiroth Challenge. If you defeat him, you'll be able to use him and his stage prior to the official release date. Now, the official release date is in five days. December 22nd at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And supposedly now, if we beat him, we get to play with him early. It has three difficulties, including a very hard mode. They are prepared to take him on, and the the character menu is very much in the style of uh, Final Fantasy VII. Love it. The Sephiroth Challenge mode will only be available to players with Fighters Pass Volume 2 or who have pre-ordered Challenger Pack 8 Sephiroth. I did not buy the, the Fighters Pass, but you know what? Between having Steve and Sephiroth in here, this this might be you know what i'm probably gonna buy it now this is definitely worth it oh and then a random thing of kirby with sephiroth's hair nice so yeah if you already bought the fighters pass or if you bought sephiroth individually at this point in time you can now take him on and if you beat him supposedly you could just play with him unlimited amount like you get the DLC five days early and I think that's pretty cool I personally don't know if there's going to be like if there's anything going on over here but it says for players who want a near certain victory so it kind of sounds like oh if you choose easy you're kind of guaranteed to get him now ahead of the release date so you know that's your option there and then upon highlighting over the game it says that there is a, oh it's a system update okay so let's do the system update all right it turns out that there was also a game update and i don't know how long this is going to take this is obviously going to be what's going to support sephiroth being in the game and if it's going to be anything like the previous releases uh, it's gonna take a while. In fact, this is gonna take so long. I'm probably going to stop doing this video 31 28 26 24 22 All right, it's it's slowing down right around 22 21 Yeah, so it's gonna take about 20 minutes for me to download this It's 7 30 p.m. Let's see if I could get this video live by 7 50 p.m. And uh, actually have it live turns out that this is now version 10 uh, of the software. Version 10.0. I don't know, it's just weird to see Nintendo software go as high as 10.0. Okay, let's confirm the purchase. I should have the credits in my account. Thank you, great. So now that I just bought the DLC, that's the flag being installed. The flag is done being installed. I now have access to it. That simple, right? There we go. <laughs> that simple. Gotta love it about, like, Nintendo software, that, like, no matter what, you're getting the content, it's just a matter of whether or not you're unlocking the content and able to play it. I just wanted to share. That's, that's how long it's been since I turned on Super Smash Brothers. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. New stage is added. New music added. New stage added. New music. New stage. New music. Thanks. I got an ancient helm. <laughs> Ancient soldier gear. There it is. Boom. Press start to fight. The Sephiroth challenge. Press any button. All right. So I'm, am I sure I want to set the difficulty to easy? Yeah. I, I don't really know what's involved here. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen this screen. I haven't played in so long. Also, I don't think I've ever played. Uh, oh, it's a HP challenge. That makes sense. I would say on very easy, he has like a difficulty of what, like, oh, that's a neat attack. Um, probably like an AI of, I don't know, two, one. And he had 100 HP and I started with 150. And boom, we get to unlock Sephiroth and his stage and the music. And then we just exit out of there. Yes, version 10.0 of the software. Oh, and it tells us about the thing we just did. That's neat. Oh, wow. There's there's a lot of updates that I missed here. 
Oh, the pig mask, that's awesome. <laughs> is that is that all the updates? Okay, yeah, yeah, there you go. Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Oh, you cannot see his additional uh, colors yet. If you hit L and R, oh, that was weird. It was just blank. All right, so uh, still with the one wing, and then slightly different color outfit, greener outfit, redder outfit, whiter outfit, bluer outfit, naked, naked with a black, naked with a black handle, naked with a gray handle. That's it. Let's do naked with black handle. I chose random. You saw that. So yeah, we have access to Sephiroth. That's neat. I actually didn't watch uh, like any information on like what he could do. Well, that's neat. Apparently, I also have a counter. I think that's reflect based off of the original reflect design. Oh, that's a long recovery on that fall. Oh, he is very slow. But look at that reach. It's just a down stab into the ground. Yeah, that reaches much, much further than Clouds is. So I am a little curious on what songs are included because there we go. Final Fantasy seven. Oh, it used to just be two songs. And now we have a lot more songs. The bombing mission. OK, let the battle begin. That's one of the original songs that was uh, in there. Those who fight on AC version. Oh, Advent Children. Got it. And the actual battle music. A new remix of Aerith's theme. A new remix of the main theme. Oh. I feel like I'm on the high wind again. The original Genova theme. A new remix of Cosmo Canyon. Sephiroth's original theme, One Winged Angel, and his theme in Advent Children, One Winged Angel. So yeah, nine new tracks from the original uh, Final Fantasy VII. I mean, honestly, like, you know what? No, no, keep it back on. I was enjoying the music. I don't know, he's neat. He's neat. I'm gonna mess around with him a little bit more. Uh, I also never played as Steve, and I also never played as Banjo, so I have some catching up to do on Final Fantasy. That's on <laughs> on uh, Super Smash Brothers. That's for sure. But guys, I hope you enjoy. And uh, you know what? Sephiroth, in addition to Steve, was enough for me to get the the DLC. I don't know if it's enough for you. Well, let's just wait and see. And I guess we just have to wait for Alpha Rad to start making videos on playing as Sephiroth. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm wrapping up this video. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.